So the first thing I would say is, can we just take a moment and address like your posture? So you've got some pretty aggressive S posture going on here. Um, just dial it back a little bit, like throw a little flex in your legs, be a little more rounded in the shoulders, get the back to be a little more flat or maybe even a little more rounded. That S posture is what's keeping you from actually being able to make a real turn with your hips and your shoulders. When done correctly, it'll probably make your arms hang a little lower. And by lower, I mean just closer to the body. So maybe about there, it'll force you to scoot a little bit closer to the golf ball as well. Because of that S posture, when you make that backswing, your head is gonna move forward and your inclination is gonna change. When I say inclination, I mean the angle that I just drew there is gonna go from that position to that position. That's not great for a golf swing. We really, really would like to see the head kind of stay in the same spot. Um, another observation I would make is up here at the top, we've got a couple things going on with the hands and wrists and the club face. So if I took it all the way up to the top for you, you know, you've got yourself a flat left wrist. That's a nice thing to have, but you do it with a super shut club face. So that club face is pointed up to the sky. So let's take out some of those lines. So your club face is pointed dead up to the sky. And you're doing it also with a trail wrist that's also very, very flat. So you almost have two flat flat wrists at the top and a club face that's super duper shut. Um, probably would need a little bit of information about the grip if to make some adjustments to it. But I'm gonna guess that we probably need to make a grip change of some sort. So either A, the club face isn't so wildly shut or B, so maybe the right hand can get on the club a little differently so it can actually help you hit the golf ball with a square club face instead of a, you know, a club face you know, that's probably a little bit open coming into the golf ball with a path that's pretty aggressively across it. As you start your downswing, everything rotates out towards the golf ball. So your right, or your right shoulder moves outwards towards the golf ball. Your right hip moves out towards the golf ball. Everything is moving towards the ball, which is gonna make the hand path, instead of move more down, it's gonna force the hand path to move more out. Not a good thing for what we're trying to accomplish here. So the hand path at this point is to out it needs to be way more in, so there's your depth at that point. Good golfers are typically still back here. The golf club is typically more behind you. As you keep moving that swing down, you continue to over-rotate. So you have a swing that is generating a lot of speed and a lot of power, but you're doing it with just strictly rotation. And the more rotation you have, the more across the golf ball you're going to come. The more you across the golf ball you come, the more you're going to slice it. Lastly, if we take a look at the exit of your golf club, way over here, it's really hard to get to that kind of exit if you're not swinging across the golf ball like that. Um, the face, again, really, really shut at that point. Clean that up. And you are going to notice that when you swing, your right shoulder is pointed almost directly at the target. You're just really over-rotated at that point. Um, we really don't need to be rotating that much in a golf swing. You can finish when your chest you know, points at the target but you have an over-rotation problem. You need to slow that down quite a bit. So to review, we have some setup stuff. I would definitely change the S posture, round out the back, look at some old photos of Jack. Um, I think that would be a great place to start. That'll help free you up a little bit so you can make a real turn. It'll get your hand path a little more in. Um, and I also think that you probably need to investigate a little bit of a grip change. I feel like there's something going on there with the right hand, face is super shut at the top and then we need to just slow down the rate of turning into the golf ball.